each one of our cases ultimately are decided by a jury. And you know what? You know who jury's made up of? Us. People. And the way our system is designed, that's why it's a great system, is it's a jury in the community where it can impact them the most. So if, if a wreck happens in El Dorado, Arkansas, a trial's going to be down there in the county of El Dorado, Arkansas. Lake Village, Texarkana, Jonesboro, same thing. So what we have to do is we have to do focus groups or mock trials, depends on, people call them different things, to test the facts of our case on potential jurors. And the key to doing a great focus group is presenting the information, but more importantly, and I've, I've noticed lawyers have a problem with this, so listen. You have to listen to what the focus group jurors tell us about the case. You test these facts out on the focus groups, and, and here's something that's interesting, but the focus groups are always right. And so we have what, what I have called, and I teach about doing focus groups all, all over the country, a focus group based practice. So that when we're considering accepting a case, if it's not at the type of case that we've accepted over and over and over, we're very, very familiar with it, we will do a focus group at the intake stage to see how jurors feel about this type of case. Then after we've accepted the case, we'll start doing some written discovery. We will do a discovery focus group. And that is, here's the story, folks. We, we tell the jurors the story. What information do you want to see? What information do you want to hear? Who do we need to talk to? Things of that nature. And then we go get it. That's what we do. We collect information. We investigate. Then after we've collected the information, so if a juror tells me, I want to see document X, then we go collect document X. Then we do another focus group and we show those documents to a different set of jurors to see how they feel about them. Do they like them? They want to know more? Do they not like them? How does it impact our case? Then we do other focus groups on developing themes and analogies for our trials. You know, every, every trial needs some sort of theme. Maybe it be simply safety rules or bad breaks equals recklessness. You know, whatever the, uh, the theme is for the case, oftentimes we get those from focus groups. So, I tell you, I can't put enough weight on doing focus groups on, on every case.